This methods exam question isn't hard, which means you need to be able to answer it quickly to save time in the exams. Now, before I show you how to answer it, if you want to learn to answer maths methods exam questions on trig functions really fast, then log into the Maths Methods Club and try these 38 different questions that's been asked in the previous exams on trig functions. Coming back to this question, we've got the diagram below shows one cycle of the graph of a circular function. A possible equation of the function whose graph is shown is... Looking at the options, they're all sine functions, and so this must be a sine function. The midline or the mid position is going to be the line y is equal to 2. This is going to be the constant that's added to the trig function, and all of the options have this plus 2. The amplitude is going to be the distance between this line and the maximum or the minimum point. The maximum point is 4, and so the distance is going to be 2, which means the amplitude is going to be 2. And so we can cancel out options A and options D. Next, we need to work out the period of this function. It starts at x is equal to 0, and one cycle ends at x is equal to 4. And so the period of this function is 4. This function is a sine function. The period of a sine function is 2 pi on n, and this is going to equal to 4. Rearranging this to solve for n, we're going to get n is equal to 2 pi on 4, which is simplified to pi on 2. Which means the coefficient of the x term inside the brackets is going to be pi on 2. And so looking at the options, the answer to this question is going to be option C.